What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 21-22 Panini Donners Optic Hobby Basketball just sold out. This is a four-box break. Pick teams number six. And let's switch scenes. And again, if you have a little character sign, that means you want that from a team random. There's everybody there as well. Is that right, Dennis? That's awesome, man. Nothing wrong with BC, though. I think it would have been a North Carolina would, like, crash and burn. Because they should not be losing to Appalachian State. I mean, obviously everybody remembers back in, what, 05, 06? What year it was when Appalachian upset Michigan in the big house? I mean... I mean, I don't think North Carolina was ranked, but... I mean, that Michigan one was still even more... More crazier. I think that happened with like Chad Henney, wasn't it? Cole Anthony to 99. Ooh, Jalen Green Optic Hollow. Oh man, Dennis. So sorry to hear that, man. Shit. Oops. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. Duran and Derrick Rose, all stars. Left, right. We'll do that at the end. Moises and Moody. Fred and Lee. And Corey Kesper to start us off. Scrappy undersized linebacker named Dexter Coakley. Played for the Cowboys in Appalachian State. He was a beast. And yeah, there's a lot of great players that end up making it to the NFL throughout, you know, NFL's time, right? That went to, like, the smallest schools. You know? I mean, if I... College really wasn't going to be for me. I kind of knew it already. I didn't really want to put too, the most effort into it. I just really wanted to be somewhere in the sports and... Like I said, I got right into the business of the hobby right after high school. But if I could have chose to like go to college and you know go somewhere, I, I mean, I've driven past Oregon's campus, man. It's fucking, it's so beautiful. Like, 
I would have went there. Yeah, man, and he made like almost eighty million dollars in his whole career plus, you know. Smart and rich. <laughs> Athletic. about like Jeremy Lin, right? Where did Jeremy Lin go again? Didn't he go to Harvard too, or where did he go? Uh, he went to an Ivy League school too. I forget which one it was. Oh, he went to Harvard too? Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> you don't expect these guys to like ever make it to the league, but... Perfect one. It's crazy. LeBron. Josh Hart. Two ninety nine, Josh Christopher. And another retro series. It's like the second Celtic. This is Nate Archibald this time. What's up, Anthony Hardy, buddy? Yeah, I know, man. I Unfortunately, we've been seeing a lot of Clippers in this case, man. I was just thinking of you yesterday. Whoa. Light it up, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, yeah, for sure, Deporter. I remember those of this one year with the Eagles. This was probably like maybe what, like six years ago, maybe six years ago or so, maybe five, six years ago. I think it was in the Chip Kelly era. There was this running back that Eagles had so many banged up running backs towards the end of the season. Ended up signing this guy to the practice squad. I even forget his name now. And um, Luca Garza. Then, like I said, more injuries happened where he was kind of forced to play like the last week of the season. And he was a guy that went to Garuba to 49. He was a guy that went to Azusa Pacific University. That's like a Division three, four school. You know, here in uh, here nearby where I grew up. My high school coach actually won like a national championship with Azusa Pacific in the early 2000s. So that was kind of cool to see, you know, like a Azusa Pacific, like a third, fourth uh uh, division go and play a game in the NFL and then he ended up scoring a touchdown and yeah Christian Okoye actually went there too that's right you know so I thought that was pretty awesome you know probably a little bit easier back in the day to get in if you were good right I mean college is always college was big but now I think man it's really hard for you to really get into like a to the NFL even get a shot even seen you know with all all the media and everything now with all these colleges but yeah Christian Okoye actually ended up playing there too I forgot but yeah, he played like one game for the Eagles. He ended up scoring like a touchdown or two. I thought that was awesome. I don't think he ever like was on a team again, but uh, that's, that's a cool little memory right there. And reigning threes there. Okay, just Stojakovic. Saving all the gold vinyl then, all right. But speaking of Boston Scott, I love Boston Scott, man. He's just old reliable. It's like, you know, just gets passed up on the depth chart, you know, right with the Eagles. But whenever they need him, man, he just catches really well out of the backfield, rushes really hard, gets yards per carry. Like, I love to have him on the team every year. Yeah, he's like James Wright, exactly. Yeah, like just... You throw him out there, he's just going to produce. You know, and obviously with, like, Miles and shit, always just, you know, getting a little banged up and probably going to most likely miss games. I mean, 
he'll eventually get thrown in there. And I remember last year too with Gainwa. I mean, Gainwa was supposed to be the backup guy when Miles went down, but I don't know. He was kind of struggling, and then they just put in, they just put in a, you know, Boston Scott, and boom, he just took over, right? It's just like, yeah, he's kind of like Sproles, where you just he just goes in there and produces, and you know, probably the tiniest guy on the field, but but uh, like I said, just works really hard. That's the kind of uh, that's the kind of players you want on your team. Yeah, Sean, uh, Joe doesn't really collect. He, yeah, he doesn't really collect. I mean, obviously, if I wasn't breaking for you guys, I'd probably be ripping more boxes a lot more. So, but I get that itch with you guys, thankfully. So, just allowing me to rip for you guys. But um, obviously, I, I I was really into the hobby. You know, like I said, as a kid, and then obviously. After high school, got really into it, so I still collect and have PCs, but I don't. Yeah, I don't think Joe really likes to collect too much. Oh yes, there you go, Watson. I think it's not. Yeah, I, I didn't realize what his first name was, but Watson does does, does ring a bell. To one ninety nine, Victor Oladipo. No, I know it, it's tough. <laughs> Sometimes, especially me being an Eagles fan, Nick's an Eagles fan. I mean, there's times where he puts out some really cool Eagles cards out there. I'm like, oh, like, don't do this. Like, you know, I, mean, I can't hide my purchases from my wife. She's here. She worked here, too, you know. So she knows. Okay, can you hand the rookies? John Wall. Wagner, Cam Thomas. That's right, Adam. I, I started the LaMichael P. Ryan fan club like two years ago when I thought he was going to be your guys' Number one. <laughs> I know. Eagles practice by player. Oh, did it really? I didn't even notice that. Hold on. There was a full ton in here? Damn. Jesus Christ. You guys hear that? Oh, I penny sleeved it or top loaded it? Let me see, hold on. I don't see it, Deep Order. Maybe it's right here. Oh, the lime green. Okay, hold on. I, sorry, I was thinking of DeMar DeRozan for a second. This one? I don't think it has the photon, does it? No. I thought I'd seen a photon uh, print in here too, though, but I don't think it was that one. It's all good, though. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of those, though. I have a feeling if they messed up on one, they're going to mess up another one. Most likely. I know, you're just seeing Voltons now. Nurchich. Nice. Moises Moody, 7 out of 49. Nice blue color match. That's another one there for hand. Yeah, so far those are three autos. A little Jalen Green hollow. Sometimes if it's like a one kind of card, 
error, but if it's like a printing error, there's will be a gazillion of those, you know what I mean? Like, I guess it just depends. Like, I don't know if you guys seen, if you guys seen the other day, Teddy pulled a, a one-on-one select patch autograph of Aaron Rodgers. I think I was talking about it on Instagram the other day, but like, see like that, the sticker was backwards, or you think it's an error. Some people might think that's like the coolest thing and it makes it a little bit more valuable, but you know, it kind of just has to be very short printed in the sense, you know? Like if all the if all the refractors or hollows and colors have a full ton of John Wall or whoever it was, is it DeMar DeRozan, then most likely it's just gonna be an error. Yes, and then Rodney Hood was a perfect one. He had hit the border, he had like no border I think it was. So, like, it, it was just all different from Prism. But, yeah, it, it might change from different tier players, but... If it's something that's going to end up being very common, I don't think so. It has to be, like, a real, like, big error, per se, and, you know, just short printed, if anything. Like, I remember that one year, what is it, 1819? They had Josh Hart as a rookie, but not SGA. So SGA has no rookie logo on his Prism cards, but he's a rookie. But Josh Hart was a rookie the previous year. If anything, that freaking hurt SGA's cards. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't think he's a rookie that year. That's right. You know what though? At the time of Deporter, when Kendrick Nunn was a no-name, a lot of people actually bought it up more because they thought it was the coolest thing. But then, as the year went on and more products came out and then, you know, retail stuff and all this stuff, all these different versions of that product, then it kind of just went down. <laughs> so like right now, seeing that Refractor Hollow Photon, I guarantee you that people are going to buy it thinking that it's super rare. But... It's probably going to go down in price later, so take advantage of that, though. Let's just call it Orange Slice Photon. Super short print. Number to 189. RJ Barrett. Colin Sexton. Uh, we should have been able to do that Luminance today, man. And then we have, like, the all-time greats. Multi. Sport. Uh, Steven, check out one second. My debit card is in the I personally don't know what to do about that. Um, you can try to contact support and see if they, they do. But yeah, most likely it, it could be on your side that if you put the wrong number and or like the address is different or zip code and, and uh, it could be your bank just declining it over and over again. So just maybe uh, maybe contact your bank. Because, uh, I, I mean, unless Shopify is having checkout issues, I don't think so, though. My last order was like two minutes ago. <sighs> well, maybe, maybe your bank just thinks it's Shopify? Maybe because it's an online website? I mean, like I said, I, I, I personally wouldn't have a clue what to do there. If I had, like, a button to, like, allow you to purchase, I would. But I don't think, uh, I don't think there's anything that I can do about it. Joe Westcamp. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Anthony. At the time, none stuff was selling for a lot. But now, go look at none. Eh, doesn't sell for none. <laughs> Jalen Brown, Zach Levine. Yeah, I don't think I don't think people are gonna touch the Super Bowl spots straight up and all that until closer this to this week. You know, if we do end up that break happening, it is a pricey break. But honestly, it's a very very nice mixer, though, man. I mean, it has an Eminence case in there. You know, it has. A lot of high-end products, but um, I think for those bigger products, I mean, I think it's more like as it gets closer to the week, 
people will start buying those full spots. You know, hopefully we do it. But if not, hey, we gave it a shot. We wanted to put it out there. I mean, we can always, you know, sell sell those Super Bowl tickets or throw those into a different kind of mixer, if anything. But I think it could sell. I just think more people are not going to buy the full spots so it gets closer to Thursday. And it's a lot of money tied up there to buy too early. Giddy. All right, so we have a redemption as the last one, guys. Yesterday, we got kind of teased, and it was like Sengun. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Whoa. Rated Rookie Signatures Gold Vinyl. That's a one of one. Wow. Okay. I had a feeling we were kind of missing something monstrous. Oh, please let this be Scotty Barnes or something like that. I don't know who 186 is, but after, let's do it. Wow, Scotty Barnes! It's a one of one gold vinyl! And that's going to Sean Maddock, who got that for the team random. Wow, man, I wish this was live. Oh, I'm done, guys. I'm going home. I'll see you guys later. I'll see if someone else can come in and break. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't even want to mess with this. I kind of just want to leave it as that. Ah, it doesn't matter, right? One, one. There you go. <laughs> that was a good way to end it right there. So appreciate it, guys. This is Picker Team number six. That's exactly what we were looking for here. Something monstrous like that in this whole case. And uh, let's quickly do that randomizer here for uh, left or right. <clears throat> Man. Whew. All right. Roll. Five, four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Left side on the All Star uh, duels. So appreciate you guys. Oh, sorry, I can't believe I hit that right now. Appreciate you guys. Uh, remember, we have more optic in the store. It might be in a team random already, and if it isn't, I'm sure we'll do it soon. But seven left on the next pick your team. Get it going, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.